Hey, this is Jeff. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk a little bit about the DJI Avada drone. I picked this up about three weeks ago. Uh, I got this with my own money, I'm not being sponsored or was not provided anything to do this. So this is my honest opinion after having purchased it. Uh, I've flown cinematic drones for more than two years now. Uh, I started with the Mavic Mini and I graduated to the Air 2S and I've been flying that for, for a while now. Uh, really happy with that, but I've been watching what people are doing with FPV and I really wanted to dip my toe into that and try that out. Uh, I looked at the FPV drone when they came out with that uh, a little more than a year ago, I guess, and uh, I was very intimidated by it. Uh, it looked very easy to break, uh, very fast, very unforgiving, and I decided not to try it out at that time. Uh, but then a few months ago, they came out with the Avada, which is uh, what they call a Cinewhoop, and it's smaller. Uh, it's not quite as fast, but it has propeller guards. Uh, it's much more uh, maneuverable, it seems, um, and easier to fly. Uh, so I, I watched a bunch of videos, and I finally picked one up, and I've been really happy with it. Um, I got all the accessories with it. I got the fly more kit so I could get the extra batteries. Um, it came with the motion controller and I picked up the FPV controller, uh, so I can finally do the, the manual mode. Um, I have not tried manual yet. I'm still working in the simulator. Uh, it's not going very well to start off with. Uh, but the normal and sport mode, uh, especially with the motion controller, I've just been having a ball with. Um, I started off with just the motion controller and, and flew around the backyard and uh, got up above the neighborhood and, and flew around with it and, and tried it out. And it's worked really well. Um, and I've started adding in the, uh, the head tracking with the motion controller. And I'm really excited with some of the the looks that I've gotten from that, uh, orbiting around things and, uh, passing by. And, uh, when you turn your head, the drone actually turns and still stays on the path it's going, but it, it just gives so much more, uh, motion to the, the video that you take. Um, and today I tried out, uh, Decinolike, uh, the, all the shots here were done with the Decinolike profile. So it's 10 bit color instead of the normal eight bit color. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the 8-bit color. It's looked fine, but um, as I'm doing this uh, right at sunrise in the morning, I'm getting a lot of like lens flares and some some bright glares, so I wanted to try out the, the 10-bit color and uh, see how that looks. So this is my first attempt using that. Um, the clips I did before, I was using, uh, uh, they were shot in 60 frames per second. Um, the, the video files are just huge to, to work with, so uh, I ended up cutting them down to... Uh, uh, I'm just shooting in 30 frames per second right now. Um, I, I could use, I could see using 60 frames if you pass them by something really quick and you want to slow it down and uh, see how that looks. So I, I love having that option, but I'm, I'm not using it right now. So uh, I'm just doing the the uh, 4K 30 frames a second. Uh, this, like I said, this is decent alike. Uh, color grading it in uh, uh, Premiere Pro, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm really feeling like I'm, I'm making some progress with the motion controller. Uh, I only fly on the weekends during the week. I'm pretty busy. So, uh, this is basically the, the third time I've gotten out and flown with it. Um, and I'm each time I do, I feel like I'm, I'm getting more comfortable with it. Uh, I'm, I'm bumping branches, uh, bumping trees. Uh, occasionally I get stuck on a little branch and it flips it over. So I've, I've not taken it anywhere where I, can put it in a place where I can't get it back. Um, I've, I've lost some drones before uh, a couple minis and, a, uh, I lost an air 2s, which was, uh, that hurt a lot. So, um, I don't want to lose this. So I'm, I'm erring a little more on the caution side, uh, when I take it out. Um, I, I do want to get like down to the beach and get some shots along the coast, uh, right over the water. Uh, this thing looks fantastic the closer you get to things. So it's meant to, to do really close flybys. Um, and I, uh, things that I, I looks, I can't get really with the air 2s, uh, uh, especially with the, the, the air 2s having the open props. Uh, I, I wouldn't 
dream of coming this close to you know some of the trees and branches and all this but this thing just bounces off of them and and keeps going so it's been a lot of fun to use uh it is a lot noisier than the air 2s uh, i've i've flown places with the air 2s and i put it up and once it's up like more than 100 feet people hardly even know it's there i can find a little discreet place to stand and you know i'm i'm out of the way nobody really notices and i you know i can fly in peace i've not not bothering anybody and, and nobody seeks me out and, and bothers me. Uh, the Avada is, uh, different. It's very noisy. And when you're flying close to the ground and close to things, it makes a lot of noise. Uh, as I'm flying over the house, uh, I, I know everybody in the neighborhood can hear it, uh, that's outside. So I am trying to be a little more careful and, you know, I don't want to go, uh, down to the beach when there's like a whole bunch of people there and, you know, ruin, somebody's morning and making all the noise and uh i've i've not had a confrontation with the drone yet but i've i've seen enough of them on youtube that i know people are out there that are looking for uh for a fight so i i try to avoid it uh, that's my my best defense so the the avada is much noisier uh all i can do is just try to find places to stay out of the way do my flying and then leave so uh Try not to disturb folks, but every once in a while, you know, if, if somebody hears it, they'll just have to have to live with it. Uh, but I'm, I'm having a ball with it. It's uh, it has added so much uh, to my kind of toolbox for uh, for flying and uh, collecting video that I, you know, I, I never knew what I was missing. I I've seen some of the guys uh, when they fly in manual doing the flips and the, the spins and all the tricks. Uh, I'm, I'm working in the simulator, um, crashing. I, I can barely get off the ground, but, uh, I've watched some of these guys and seen what it's capable of doing. And I know it doesn't have the, the speed and the power that some of these, uh, little homemade quads do. Um, but I, I didn't want to start off with a, a homemade build and a box of parts and all that, uh, trying to piece together, you know, and collect batteries and, do all that stuff. I just, I wanted an introduction to it and this is uh, perfect for me. So I'm, I've just been more than happy with uh, what the Avada has allowed me to do even so far. Even if I never go into manual mode, the things I can do in, in normal and sport are amazing. I'm, I'm just really thrilled with what I can get out of it. Uh, I do want to try manual, but not until I'm, I'm very comfortable in the, in the simulator and uh, i I feel like I know what I'm doing once I hit that button because it's very unforgiving if you uh, <laughs> if you uh, crash into something or or lose it. Uh, it one thing the Avada has that some of the homemade quads don't is it has a great big uh, brake button uh, on the on the controller. So if you get into trouble, you hit that button and it immediately goes into normal mode and just hovers. It stops. So. Uh, I can see, you know, trying out normal and I, I love having that, that safety net there to, to learn. Um, I, I don't know if I'll ever be as competent and comfortable with it as some of these guys who just are doing amazing things with, you know, just moving their fingertips on the controller. Uh, I've, I've not quite gotten the hang of it in the simulator. I can fly around a little bit, but I'm, I'm, going through like the digital parking garage and I'm bumping into the walls and the ceiling and crashing to the ground and it's it's not pretty so uh I, I definitely don't want to try that with the the physical unit um I have found that the the uh Avada itself is handles very differently than it does in the simulator um even with the motion controller it's much easier flying it than it is in the in the simulator the simulation seems to have a kind of a lag to it that I, I, I didn't, I didn't like. So, uh, um, flying it, uh, right out of the box, basically with the motion controller, it, it was just so easy. And, uh, the more I do the, you know, the more confident I get and the quicker I can go. Um, and it, it helps to kind of scout the area that you're, you're flying. Um, I've, I've got a path in, in my yard and the, the house next to me is empty. So I've, I fly through their backyard uh, but I've, I've learned like where all the little low hanging branches are and twigs and things that stick up. And, uh, it, I, I would be more careful if I was flying somewhere that I wasn't familiar with. Uh, like I, 
suspect some of these guys are like scouting the location first and kind of learning it and doing some trial runs before they they zip through it at, at full speed on some of these runs. But anyway, that's my uh, my brief intro for the Avada. Uh, I'm really happy with it. Uh, I love flying this thing, even just for fun. Uh, and I love the, the looks I get out of it. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like and subscribe, if you, if you like what I do here and want to see more, uh, I'd appreciate it. And I'll uh, be posting more in the near future. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.